All right, now we're defining order of a permutation. Like order for elements of groups, the order of permutations is the number of times you have to compose a permutation with itself until you get back the identity permutation. There's a really nice exploration of this in your book. It's on page 53. But the shortcut is that the order of permutations is found by the least common multiple of the lengths of the cycle that make the permutation. So I'm telling you what the shortcut is. If you want to explore it yourself, go to your book. And let's do some examples of that. So determine the order of each permutation on the set 1, 2, 4, 5. All right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We know that the identity is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we want to know how many times we would have to perform it. Well, instead of performing the permutation over and over and over until we get that, Instead, we could look for the least common multiple of the cycles. So we need to look for cycles of our elements. I see 2 and 3 make a cycle, so I'm going to rewrite P1. Definitely we've got 2, 3, 1 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 1. So 1, 4, 5 is the second cycle. All right, the least common multiple of 2 and 3, because we've got a cycle length of 2 and a cycle length of 3, is 6. So that must mean the order of P1 is 6. All right, let's try that again for P2. 1, 2, 2, 1. 3, 4, 4, 3. 5, 5. I could write that. I don't have to. And I don't have to because, again, or because with a least common multiple, that's just a size of 1. So it's not going to change my least common multiple. So now we've got the least common multiple of 2 and 2, 2, 2, and 1, which is, of course, 2. So the order of permutation group 2 is 2. All right, P3. Let's look at this one. 1 goes to 1, 2, 5, 5 to 3, 3 to 2. So 2, 5, 3, and then 4 goes to 4. So at least common multiple of 3 is 3. Now we need to find P4. P4 is a combination of P1 and P3. So I'm just going to look at them here. So P1 and P3. Start with P3, put in 1, get out 1, put in 1, get out 4. 5, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3. 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 3, 3, 2. Okay, quick check to see I have all my elements. And now to look for their cycles. 1 goes to 4, 4 goes to 5, 5 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1. So that's a cycle of length 4. So 1 goes to 4, 4 goes to 5, 5 goes to 2. And then, of course, we have the 3 by itself. So the order of permutation group 4 is 4.